Look at that. How beautiful is that? Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Definitely worth it to come here, especially during peak foliage. I mean, look at those colors. Look how pretty the view is though. <laughs> I think we found moose tracks. Look at the leaves, they are on fire. Absolutely glorious right now. Wow, oh, look, so cool. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like you're in like Canada or Alaska or Montana or something. It does not feel like a New England. It's ridiculous how beautiful this was. What a day. We are at the Togue Pond Gatehouse, south entrance of the Baxter State Park. We couldn't get in because our camper makes the vehicle over 90 feet tall. The park ranger said we could hike these little tra trails that are like one and a half, two miles long each around this area. Uh, we are right here at the gatehouse. Cranberry Pond Trail starts right there, so we might just do that. Here's the mountain. There's this little parking area outside the gate where you can park and do these smaller trails if your vehicle is too big, too tall. across this birch tree. Beautiful spark on it. Isn't that pretty? Alrighty, let's keep going. <coughs> Look at this pretty little vignette. A little birch bark, mushroom, pine cones, leaves, moss. It's like perfect woodland. Can't even make it up. Better yourself. For Baxter State Park, you can only collect stuff for your own consumption. You can't collect stuff to sell. Get a stick to move this leaf out of the way. You don't want to touch them just in case. Oh, it's just a bunch of mushrooms. I thought it was like one big fat stem or something. They're just a bunch of mushrooms on top of each other. Today is our second day in this Baxter Park area. We couldn't go into the park because our camper is too high. So we just parked outside the park. And we're doing like, how long was it? A mile and a half? trail by a lake so it's pretty nice the woods here are pretty nice yeah, beautiful forest just a small path like a natural forest we'll walk around and tonight we'll probably start heading up north more it was again windy and chilly but now in the woods there's like no wind and the sun came out a little bit so it's pretty nice weather still but yeah we just spend the night in 
one of the pull-offs here. So there's like a bunch of pull-offs here. There's no signs. And it's just like in the woods. You just gotta make sure you come early. Because yesterday we came when it was dark and we had a hard time finding something and trying to park and not hit a tree or run off a cliff or something. So. This big rock, all covered in moss. Double layer. Cool one. No. Yeah. <laughs> you can scrap it. You can flip it open. Look, it's little pine trees, the little pine cones. This one is different. It's wider than this one. I don't think I've ever seen this leaf. What tree is that? That's kind of wide. I've never seen this one before. No. Somebody knows what kind of tree this is from. Let me know in the comments. Look at these trees. They have the red leaves. It looks like Christmas trees for ornaments. It's cool. It's like pine trees. And then the red leaves fall and it looks like a Christmas tree. Look at all the red leaves. That looks pretty cool. The rock. Moss and red leaves hungry yet? the second lake on this hike. It's around 12 o'clock now and it has cleared up completely because in the morning it was kind of, it was pretty cloudy and dark. We had now the sun's out, nice blue skies. It got really warm. The wind died down. It's really nice weather now. Everything just looks much better when the sun's out. <laughs> Why is he so new? Yes, he likes it. seen a red one. We have blue ones at home. In Ohio. Or a red one. It's a again. It is? It's fun. So we're done with the trail. We're gonna start another one, I guess. And Julie's looking for her map. 
stuff in there. Yeah, it was like really chilly in the morning when I left and windy and the sun wasn't there. Now the sun came out and the wind went away. So it's pretty warm actually. It's really warm. That's good enough. <laughs> Anyways. So we started from here. We walked 1.4 miles and now we're here. We can go this way, this way and back, or we can just go back. What do you feel like doing? Should I just go back? Just go back? Probably. Should we just walk on the road? Sure. No? Sure. You wanna try hitchhiking? No. You're on the road again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the cars driving everything's just covered in dust it's not hiking it's not hiking for, for today we made it back home you can see the camper from here so we did about almost three miles and now I think we're gonna go stop by a store buy a few things we only have like two, two and a half hours left to Fort Kent, which is the start of Route 1. We'll head that way. Is a little sign with information about the Katahdin mountain range. The first person to ascend was a surveyor, Charles Turner, in 1804. First woman, 1849. Teddy Roosevelt in 1879. We were just traveling up north to Fort Kent on Highway 95. And there was a sign that said, Scenic Overlook of the Katahdin Mountain. Look at this. Wow. So if you don't want to even go into Millinocket and a little bit closer, look at this amazing view. Look how pretty. Definitely recommend to pull over at the scenic overlook. You get the water, the trees, and the mountain range in the background. Yeah, you don't even have to drive around if you don't want to. If you don't have much time. Yeah, you don't have to. It's you a beautiful this. view. Yeah. Really the nice. sun is about to set in like 30 minutes, but we have to keep on going. <laughs> this is people's backyards. Can you imagine that? We lived in like a subdivision. We had houses all around our house. 